just dropped my car off over here at the lot and the pier was full, so we had to come across the street here. This nice young man's gonna drive me to the pier. Met for a few days and check that out. Show you guys a bunch of cement. I've never been to Coast Cement before. It's so close. It only took me about an hour and 20 minutes to drive over here. I booked a hotel for a couple of nights. I'm gonna try to get some fresh air. Bangkok, a little too smoggy for me right now. A little pollution. Maybe this island's nice. If this one's not clear enough for me, I may head, I may head further south for a little bit, especially over Song. We'll see. I'll show you some met when we get over there. Made it over on the ferry. The ferry took about 40 minutes. I think when I go back, I'm gonna take a speed boat back. I didn't realize the ferry was gonna go so slow. Cause you're at Rayong and it looks like it's so close to Koh Samet. There's two piers now. I'll put links so you guys can find them. Just right, you know, in the Rayong area, Rayong province. I was greeted by this lady. Nice sight for sore eyes. <laughs> so. We'll check out the island, probably tour around a little bit, check out the different beaches, see if there's any nightlife on the island. It does look uh, clear. I mean, the, the, the air feels a little clear here. It's, uh, let me show you. I mean, look at it out there. It's, you know, we're by my house that close and it's, it's pretty, pretty hazy looking. So this looks nice. Everybody unloading here. I guess they're gonna unload my other bag maybe, hopefully. This is it. Definitely going back on the speedboat, I think. I think this was 120 baht, maybe. And the speedboat's maybe 200 baht. So maybe not that much more. I'm gonna have to investigate that on the way back. All right, so as you get on the island, there's an admission fee. And the admission fee is 200 baht for a foreigner. Even with my pink resident ID card, my long-term resident visa from BOI, have to pay 200 baht. Thai nationals are 40 baht. You got me feeling like a firebolt. Hot in the sky. Looking like a thunderstorm. Oh, Here we go, 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 go. You're easy to remember. So how do you forget? When the baby is a coward, we destroy. Well, how could I not? Worship just arrived at my hotel. Check-ins at two, it's one o'clock. Apparently, maybe the room's not ready or maybe they just don't let you check in early, but greet it to this. And here it is, the Avatara Resort. Start with a little coconut, why not? There's the resort and it's right on the beach. We'll give you a tour of the room later. 30 baht, 30 baht for the ride over there on the uh, Sun Tao here from the pier. That 
pork actually looks pretty good too, but I'm gonna try one of these. Chicken leg, why not? Looks so low my mind. And look at that water out there. I can't wait to jump in it. I gotta tell you, this chicken may not look like much. It's just a little chicken leg, but it's been marinated and it smells so good. I can see they got a whole bag of the chicken marinating over there. So juicy. Now let me try the sauce. Always gotta try these different sauces they have. You know what, this is a good one. It's not overly sweet. Just a tiny bit of spice, really good. Okay, cup, cup, cup. Show you guys this room before I mess it up. Oh, I guess I can sleep there, eh? Or is that a couch? Okay. Okay. You said the bed was very soft. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. A little older decor, a little older than I thought, but this will do. All right, my first stop on the motorbike trip. As always, I like to stop and get refreshments all the way around an island when I'm cruising. Jump at Sea Cafe. And wasn't sure if I was going to show them or not. I was like, I'll put you in my video if the coffee's good. And very good ice americano with a little bit of honey excellent let me show you inside it so obviously you can tell a place is popular when there's this many shoes outside here very busy very busy place okay aloy so i make video for jump to sea right jump to sea okay cap good cap and they have breakfast food here and this is the place Second stop on the motorbike tour after coffee is Lung Dam Viewpoint. And so here's the island. Uh, started there, had the coffee, rode down here. Gonna ride all the way down to the south, but we'll take a look at this viewpoint here. So just up a little bit high. Scenic point, I don't know. I don't know if it's that special. Hopefully, when I get down to the tip of the island, it's a little bit more scenic. Let's head down there. This was not uh, anything too special. However, I do like looking at the sea. All right, back on the motorbike we go. This is it right here, Honda Click, 125. Hill's not too big, so no problem at all. The issue I have with this island is every 50 yards a speed bump. Don't like that. Not too much. It's crazy. Got to slow down every 50 yards. This is Nimman Hotel for a nice little bay view. Nimma Radi. Oh, little cabins here. How oh, nice. Go down here take a look at the water here this is much more private area if you're looking for privacy here this may be the place a little bit more rocky it looks like not that giant white sand beach um, however beautiful with the rocks everything got this got family uh, okay little bay here Oh, this looks like an excellent view out here. Go we'll check that out in a minute. I think this would be nice, these little bungalows here. This might be a very nice place to stay. Kid out here snorkeling. 
Very rocky. I can see different shades of color out there. This may be the spot to come and snorkel. When I come back, I'm going to bring my snorkel gear. Come down here and check it out. So as I was saying, these speed bumps here, everywhere, every 50 yards or so, 100 yards. Sometimes they're every 10 yards, I don't know. But I guess they want to make it very safe on this island. So it looks like we got a viewpoint here at the end of the island. Viewpoint, sunrise, sunset. So I guess just being right out at the edge here, you can get both views. That is really cool. If I was able to wake up that early, I would come and check it out. Let's see, sunrise, sunset. Let's, let's start sunrise. Okay, sunrise view. And I think there's another island right over here at the edge. I'm not sure how you get there. Made a little friend here. Where are you going, buddy? Wait for me. Where are you going? Wait for me. There's a bunch of these guys over here. I've not seen much wildlife on this island, though. No. Oh, I almost tripped. I've not seen much wildlife. No monkeys yet. Usually you go to these islands and you see a shit ton of monkeys. Okay, let's step out here and see the viewpoint. It looks like an excellent viewpoint out here. There's a little island out there. That must be the little island they were talking about. On the map, it seemed much bigger. That was a much bigger island. Pakarang Bay. Pakarang Bay Trail. I can go walk around here. What the hell? Go walk out to the point. Where he does a little, a little Zen master rocks down there. This is beautiful. So many cool places in Thailand. I got to visit every island. That should be my goal for this year is to see every island in Thailand. I wonder how long that would take me. I think there are too many small ones. Unfortunately, the plastic washes up, kind of ruins the whole vibe a little bit. Marine ecosystem. Yep, should have brought a garbage bag. Do a little cleaning here. Zen stones. So cool. So freaking cool. It's like a Zen trail. This is it. This is the farthest tip of Koh Samet. Cannot get any farther. That's a different Koh, Koh something. All right, that little hike here around this viewpoint was too much. I'm sweating my ass off. Gonna head back by my hotel because it's a beautiful white sand beach and go for a swim. Let's head over there. This is my question to everybody, actually to myself. Four years in Thailand, three years living an hour and 20 minutes from this place. How have I never been to Koh Samet? I mean, let me flip this around for y'all. 
Look at this. White sand beach. I'll walk out a little bit. This one's not waterproof, so I'm just gonna go out a little bit. But this water is just so, so clear and turquoise, and it's like bath water. I mean, it's so nice. Quite wavy today, kind of fun. Hopefully I don't get knocked over and my camera gets soaked, but check it out. And this is my little beach bar area, the hotel's behind it. Just look at this water, look how clear this is, just so turquoise, so beautiful with the white sand. Shit, I may have to start coming here once a week. Next time, I'm just gonna jump on the little speedboat and come over. I think I just booked it the last minute, so the hotel choices were probably kind of limited. Even though this was like $120 a night for this hotel, um, and there were some a little bit more, there was one that was like $700 a night, but obviously nothing like Samui prices, but uh, not that cheap. Maybe it's Songkran week, it could be a little bit more expensive. Things may be booked up. And this is it. I'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit. Get a little sun, do a little swimming. And it's like there's a little beach here, there's this beach here. I mean, really, I don't need any more than this. And the little town is right up here with all kinds of restaurants and stuff. That swim was amazing. I loved it. And now it is coconut time. What amazing swim I just had. I was out there for about 25 minutes. The water is like bath water, so warm. Could be a little cooler, but it was so perfect. Just, just so awesome now. Nothing better than a nice icy cold coconut after a swim. Trust me guys, you gotta do this. You gotta have this. You need this in your life. A delicious coconut after this. Last dinner here on the island. Gonna eat here. Kit and food. If I can get a table, looks like uh, um, some scallops and butter or something. I don't know. Okay. While I'm waiting for my food, give you my thoughts on Cosmet. Be leaving in the morning. Two nights here. Very short holiday, but amazing it was only like an hour and a half hour and 20 minutes from my condo i've never came here not like going to central bataya to kolan kolan whatever you want to call that gotta hit all that traffic in central bataya get on the ferry pay a ton of money for parking the parking was less money here once i got on the island the bot bus was only 30 baht to get to the resort the thing that was a little bit more expensive, the motorbike was 400 baht to rent. I don't know what they are in Kolar now. Uh, last time I was there, it was only like 200. Actually, I think my resort had them for free. Uh, but very pleasant. Um, hotel prices, a little pricey right now, but I think it's because Songkran week. Songkran starts later in the week. I would highly recommend it. I mean, these, these beaches are white sand. Let me show you. Look at the sand. It's like, it's like powder really digging that so highly recommend it 
show you my last meal when I get it. Get there it is, the last supper. Looks delicious. Grilled squid, fried rice and shrimp, scallops. Mmm, yummy. And as I'm about to enjoy my food, they start a fire show down here. I saw near my hotel, which is the other way, way down there there's a fire show and now they're just starting a fire show over here. I don't like I don't like it smelling that 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 fire show smell from the fire, the kerosene or whatever they're using over there on the on the fire sticks. First thing I'm gonna try is one of these scallops. Usually you don't find that many things like in a butter sauce here. And these are in a butter. I had scallops a few weeks ago and I don't think they were cooked correctly. I don't know, but these are perfect, delicious. Next, try a little squid. Let y'all know how that is. This is a Thai seafood sauce, maybe spicy. Mm. It's a nice soft squid. Sometimes you get it, it's too chewy. This is perfect. Buttery. I was right. Sauce does have a kick, very spicy. Head mark. And last but not least, a little spoon for the fried rice. Mm. Very good flavor in the fried rice. So, this is the place, the kit food. You got these restaurants lined all the way up and down the beach. Not sure there's too much difference. But I can vouch that all three of these dishes taste good. I gotta tell you, these speed bumps, like I told you before, look at, oi, up, down, they're a bitch. They are a bitch. And this here is like the main little city center here. You got this way, that coffee shop that I went to yesterday. And this stuff here. And then you go down this main drag here. This is a lot of restaurants and bars. I walked down here one night. And, uh, but I didn't eat or anything over here. I just ate on the beach, drank on the beach. But this is the main drag. There's a few bars. I think there was a few bars with some ladies over here. For my monger type friends. Meow, 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 meow. This is it, the main town of Samet, or Samed. Some maps have an S-A-M-E-D, and some S-A-M-E-T, Samet, Samed. Right now, I'm in Sun Tao to go back 100 baht a person. We could have waited to get in with six people, it'd be 30 baht a piece, but I would have had to wait 20 extra minutes. Not waiting, not waiting extra 70 baht not worth waiting 20 minutes on the way back my plan is to take speedboat do not want to wait uh, 40 minutes for the the long ferry ride definitely taking speedboat this time
looking at retiring and I ran across your... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I've I watched it a lot. Are you, what's your name? Tracy Keys. Okay. Uh, okay, and you saw you saw my YouTube channel. Yeah. How long are you in Thailand for? Uh, just two weeks. Okay. And you, Still but, working, so... When do you think you'll retire? Um, as soon as I save enough in my phone. Okay. I'm still 52, so. Oh, okay. Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, that's when I did it. Or yeah. 50, no, 50, 53, 53. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Okay. Probably six, seven minutes to get from the island over here to the pier. 200 baht a person. Well worth it. Went flying by that ferry. You see my channel too? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so yeah. much. That's so embarrassing. <laughs>